give a name with us. Now, I'd like to invite you to watch a short video about Vietnam. Passion overcome the empire is 
that disaster. Vietnam sent two rescue teams to Tuki from the very beginning. This was, this was the first time our government sent a rescue force to operate in the faraway countries and participate in the international rescue operation. This move is a kind of testing to the good relations between two countries, as well as the cooperation to deal with non-traditional security issues. On the occasion of the reception today, on behalf of our country, we would like to express our most sincere to the immigrants and organizations of both Turkey and Vietnam who have not hesitated to support our rescue team in Asian in Hatay during the days in Turkey. You may be called from Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Hand, Embassy of the Republic of Turkey in Hanoi, Vietnamese community in Turkey, Turkish people, driver, worker, volunteer, even we had never met before. But you all served as the messengers a bridge for the precious friendship and solidarity between our two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, again I would like to thank Honorable Ambassador Work Achawa, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Colleges and Friends for coming and sharing the celebration with us this evening. Hopefully, our reception today will end small but beautiful memory of your about our Vietnam as well as the friendly relations between two countries. For my embassy staff and the Sheraton Hotel, thank you so much for making this anniversary even happen today. Wish you all Please, good hands, happiness, and success. Well, the high distinguished guests, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to join you today at the commemoration of the 78th National Day of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. This year, we are also celebrating, as the ambassador has uh, mentioned, the centenary anniversary of our republic, as well as the 45th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic relations. This gives us a strong, very strong foundation to take stock of the amicable relations we enjoy with Vietnam and build further on these firm foundations. Strategically located the west and east frontiers of the massive Asian continent, so our country, our two countries and peoples, also take strength from thousands of years of statehood in addressing various challenges and opportunities within our respective regions. As such, we have come a long way in enhancing our bilateral relations over the last 45 years. The opening of the Turkish Embassy in Hanoi in 1997 and the Vietnamese Embassy in Ankara in 2005 played a critical role in bringing our nations closer together. We observe an increase in the frequency of high-level visits since the 2000s following the pandemic we successfully sustained contacts at different levels, including interparliamentary exchanges and political consultations. These exchanges enabled us to maintain the momentum at the political level, as well as signal to the business community the strong will of our leaders to build on this relationship. Currently, Vietnam is our third largest trade partner among the ASEAN countries with 2.3 billion US dollars trade off. We remain committed to advancing our economic ties in a more balanced and diversified manner as always forward. Furthermore, we are pleased that the people-to-people -people contact have been steadily intensified over the last decade. The solidarity displayed by the government and the people of Vietnam following the devastating earthquakes in Turkey last February will be remembered as a testimony to the friendly ties between our nations. Ambassador, we will never forget the commitment and the support of the Vietnamese nation. Thank you very much. In addition to our uh, achievements in furthering the bilateral relations, we are ready to work closely with Vietnam at multilateral platforms as well, with a view to contributing to regional and international peace and stability. 
strengthening our engagement with Asik with ASEAN is one of our priorities in this regard. Last, last month, uh, our minister, Hakan Fidan, participated in the fifth Turkey ASEAN Sectoral Dialogue Partnership Trilateral Meeting in Jakarta and a fruitful meeting with Foreign Minister Hui Tainzi. Moreover, in line with our Asia, a new initiative, which we initiated in 2019, we aim to give fresh momentum to building stronger ties with each Asian country in a large spectrum of areas and we regard Vietnam as an important partner in the Southeast Asia region. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, I firmly believe that with our joint efforts, friendship and cooperation between Turkey and Vietnam will further thrive in all possible fields in the upcoming period. I should like to conclude uh, my, by warmly congratulating Ambassador Ai, the Vietnamese citizens living in Turkey and the people of Vietnam on the occasion of their national day. Good goals.